Welcome to Automation Training App. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a new project in WinCC SCADA. So first I'll open the software. So right now it is trying to load the previous uh, working project. So once uh, the loading is completed, then we have to give file. So right now you can see it's showing the previous working project. So I'll just go with file new. So when you give a new, it will ask a new project in that you able to see it's asking three options. So single user project, that means uh, as a standalone system, we are going to use it. So multi user project is for client and server concept. So single server, multiple clients for that purpose we using. And client project. So this one is for server to server communication. So for that they have given. And in the bottom they given to open the existing project. So right now we are going to select single user project because uh, right now the system we're using is what standalone. So just give OK. So it's asking project name. So I just given, uh, so today's date. You able to see the path also. So right now in the desktop, I created one folder. So in that I'm saving all the project so that it will be easy for me to delete also. Okay, so right now the project has been loaded. So once you completed this, you able to see in here they given my computer. If I right click that one in properties, again properties. So you can see, so your system at startup, what are the things should be running? So right now defaultly they given what? Graphics runtime. So since right now we didn't create any windows, so due to that at runtime, what happens? We are not getting any runtime uh, window, but now we are going to create the pages and all now. So once you created, always whenever you come to runtime, that means whenever you open the WinCC, always a pop-up will come, the runtime screen, it will open. So if you say it should not do like that now, you have to remove this. Plus, uh, same, in here they given everything. So if you are going to use alarm, tag, logging, everything. So later I will explain you this part. So right now, startup we are given. Similarly, your runtime screen, if any corrections or any border or the full screen like that, if you need now, you're able to select in here. So right now, I'm not uh, touching anything in this. So first we'll try to create the windows, everything. Later we'll see to this. So right now, just give OK. So we understood in a computer, in properties, they given the set of settings. So with the help of that setting, you able to do some changes for the runtime screen. So if you say you want to create a window now, for that only they given graphics designer. So in here, in right side, you can see it's showing no objects exist. So in graphics designer, no windows are exist. So right now, if I right click in here, it will ask you new picture. So I'll just give. So the default name it's showing in here. So right now I'm just selecting this one and rename into main screen. So similarly, what are the windows you needed? Starting itself, we can create.
So like this, the windows you have created. Suppose maybe right now, if I double click main screen now, you can see the graphics designer will open. So after opening also in that also you can create the window. So you have two options starting itself either in WinCC, we can do it in here itself. Otherwise, once the page is open, then in here you can see file new. So in the file new, what happens since you given file new, when I save it, it will ask. So whatever name you want, you can give. So I'll just close this one. You go to WinCC. So what happened? It will be created. So like this also you can do. So right now just uh, delete it. Okay. <laughs> so right now, so this is our main screen. So if you say this uh, window size we want to adjust now, you can see in here the picture width and height has been given. So in this you can do the corrections. So in this, if you want any editing now, you can see in the right side, uh, they given standard. So in that tab, you can see we have static text. So select this one. So you can give any name you want. So right now, if you want to bring this text in the middle now, select this, you can see for that uh, object, it's showing the properties. So in that uh, font, so the alignment has been given. So in that I'll give center. And if you want to adjust the color of this one now, Right now, if I select, you can see it is not accepted. So why not for all objects in the properties in effort, you can see the global color scheme will be activated. So due to that, the default, which color it is in, you can't able to change. Suppose if you wish to change now, just give no for this so that you can adjust. So right now for the main screen, we want to select what other windows. So what are the windows we have now? You can see we have design, trend, alarm, recipe, report. So right now what I'll do is in main screen, we have given the text now. So I'll just copy that text. I'll paste it. Name alone will change. So I'm just copy and paste it. Okay. So we'll go to the main screen. So right now in here, I need a buttons. So when I select that button, what happens? So from main window, you able to select which window we want to jump to. So for that, I'm using in the standard itself. Uh, we have in windows object folder button. So I'll place it in here. I'm just giving the name. So each time when you give a button, you will get this one. 
directly the button configuration will open but if you do copy and paste it now when i double click you can see you won't get it so what you do right click configure dialog Okay, so right now you can see the tab has been placed, but the alignment is not proper. So what we can do is uh, just select every thing. In the top, you can see in here, we have even space horizontally. So if you select this now, automatically the space will be given. So you can see even space has been given. Okay, so similarly, I need a button in here. So this window size also will collect it. So since we given 400, you can see the size. So the same resolution will use it in all pages. So we'll save it. So right now in all these windows, I need a button to close it. So for the main screen, you will go to that particular window. For example, if I say design, so when you press this design button, it will jump to this window and you are doing some changes or watching this one again. If you want to return back to main screen, what we need, I need a button in here. So. I will place one button in here. I'm just giving the text as X, just like a close. So I'll just copy this one, paste it. Okay. So right now the design has been done. Screen everything we arranged. So now we have to do the configuration in this so that it will jump to that particular window. So for that, right click this one in configuration dialog, you can see. So when you press this uh, object, so it should change to which screen picture it's asking. So I'm just giving in here, it should be Decide. Similarly, this one is trend. This one is color. Recipe.
so they put and same in here so in here what we have to do so when you press this one from this window it should jump to main screen so in here what we have to do so right click on configuration dialog in that main So we have done everything. So now what we have to do now, go to WinCC. So in the WinCC Explorer, in the top we have activate. So right now, if I activate now, it will go to the runtime screen. So right now you can see what happened. So it is activated, but the runtime screen is not coming. So why it's not coming now? In the starting, we did one change now. So in the computer properties. So in the startup, we removed what? Graphics runtime. So for the WinCC runtime, what are the things it should enable? It should work. So you are selecting. So if you say I need a runtime screen, so we need a report or if I need a trend, alarm script or the user archive. So everything we have to enable. So that what happens when you doing the settings uh, configuration. So your WinCC allow that uh, configuration to run to do the changes. So again, when I give activate, you can see what happens. The runtime screen is opening. So wait till it completed. So you can see right now. So what it's showing now, start picture, not founder. So please configure the desired start picture. So right now, if I give okay, it will ask which window it should open with. So you can give main screen, but it should not ask like that. If you say now, what we have to do is again, deactivate. So in the graphics designer, you can see we have these much uh, windows uh, we have. So in this, which one you assume as a main screen? Right now we are assuming what? Main screen as an active window. That is a start screen. So right click, give us what? Define screen as start screen. So that now, what happens? Your WinCC comes to know which is the opening screen is so directly that window will open
you can see. So now if you want to go to design window, if you say what we have to do. So just press this uh, tab, it goes to design. So again, you return back to main. So like that, we can go to the all windows. So now if you want to exit from this now, just give stop deactivate. So I hope you understood how to create a new project uh, in WinCC and uh, how to create the windows. So in the next video, we'll see how to create the design in this, how to connect with Tagger. Thank you.